I decided what kind of attorney I want to be. I heard. You quit. Did you hear I also turned over the toxicology report? You didn't. Thought you were supposed to know everything. How'd you not know this? Well, I knew that you were either going to take that promotion or you were going to quit. And either way, I wasn't sticking around to find out. You quit? Damn straight. I'm not working at a place headed by a viper. Donna, I can't get you another job. Oh, well, that's going to make my decision easier. What does that mean? I'm choosing between Brad and Gould, Scab and Arps, and O'Melveny and Myers. If I had another one, I don't know what I'd do. You know, it just occurred to me that you and I don't work together anymore. Yeah, that didn't just occur to you. No, it didn't. Do you know how I know that? Because you knew I'd show up here the second you heard I quit. Why do you think I have this in my hand? What are we waiting for? For you to figure out that it's time to come inside. Breath on me. Jay, can I get a McAllen 18? You know, usually when someone wins their first trial, they at least pretend to finish the drink their fellow ADAs bought them. I'm sorry, do we? Know each other? Not yet. But today's your lucky day. Oh, why is that? Because it's the day you get to meet Donna. Let me guess, you're Donna. Oh, you have no idea how Donna I am. Well, Donna. I'm Harvey. Harvey Specter. You really think I'd be talking to you if I didn't know who you were? How exactly do you know about me? I know about everybody. What I don't know is why this is the first case you ever took to trial. Because it was a white collar crime, not some drug dealer on the corner, which makes it the kind of case. That puts your name in the paper. You're not just a pretty face, are you? No, I'm not. So maybe you should buy me a drink and we can continue this conversation in the corner. Jay? Uh oh. Hi, I got a delivery for you, Zoltan Friestmeister, son. I'm afraid there's no one in this office with that name. Uh, I'm afraid you're mistaken. Really? Yeah. Because I'm willing to bet that there's no one on this planet with that name. Okay, fine. If you could just point me towards Kumquat McGilligutty's office, I'll be on my way. <laughs> I certainly did not bike down here with two fictitious deliveries just to tell you what a great time I had last night. Good, because I have a lot of work to do. So if you could please just hop on that little bike of yours. Yeah. You finished flirting with Quicksilver here. You might want to get down to INS. Hector Suarez just got taken in. His visa's expired. They're going to send him back to the Dominican Republic. Hey, uh, maybe I can help. No offense. I don't know how no, you... No, 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 Nathan. He's not just a bike messenger. He's in law school. Really? Where are you in law school? Uh, Columbia. And he happens to know visas better than either one of us. Well, I really can't pay you, so... No, I'm, I don't need any money. I just want to help. All right, Columbia. Be my guest. Got a hearing Tuesday morning, 9 a.m. Mike, that is amazing. Thank you. Well, no, don't take me yet. I haven't even done any. Um, this might not be relevant, but... I actually saved Kumquat McGilligutty's life this morning, so... I'm gonna go do some work. Thank you. The last time I let someone up that he wasn't expecting, he tried to have me executed. I'm sure he did, but I'm telling you that... Hey, Gretchen obviously forgot to phone down, Carl, because we have a meeting scheduled for right now. That isn't what she just... Carl. A meeting with you. Really? I promise I'm much better looking than whoever you're supposed to be. You have no idea how right you are. But I could have sworn you were just on your way out. Oh, that's not a problem. The mayor can wait. But I'm not sure the governor can. Are you trying to out-name drop me? If I were, I think I just did. But I'll let you in on a little secret. I don't really care about names that much. Well, if you don't care about names, why don't we skip the introductions and just get down to breakfast? What if I already had breakfast? Well, I'm talking about tomorrow morning in my kitchen or yours. I mean, you look like you have a nice place. As tempting as that is, maybe another time. Good luck in your meeting.
Good, you're still here. Where's Lewis? Because I have some news, and I think you should both. And the feeling I thought was set in stone, it slips through my fingers, and I'm trying hard to let I'm sorry, Harvey. I just had to know. The memory of a stolen place What did she want? Nothing. Tell me she enjoyed working with me. Did you? Did I what? Did you enjoy working with her? I mean, I, I just keep seeing you guys and working together all the time and you just seem to be bonding away. Are you jealous? It's not funny. I'm not smiling because it's funny. I'm smiling because it's sweet. You didn't think it was sweet when I was jealous of you and Jenny. You and I weren't together then, but... We are now. Right. Which is why it bothers me more now. Rachel, I trusted you with my secret, my life. If I trusted you with that, don't you know that that means I... You know that I... What are you, what are you trying to say? You know what I'm trying to say. Don't say it now. I don't, I don't want to hear it here. Here? Where we've done pretty much everything Mike, else? Mike, I... I love you. I love you. I don't want to keep it in anymore. <laughs> I love you, too. And at this moment, I don't care. Who knows? I feel now about you then I'm just glad I and when my heart won't break And empty space between my lungs And when my knees won't shake I'll drink to find inspiration Paperwork looks good, despite the fact that you two decided to go lawyer commando. <laughs> the devil's always in the details. Harvey, I know the impulse purchases don't exist in your world, but that, the timing was right. And as for the details, I like to leave that to my man, Scott. Does he always like to be late? She just got off a plane from London. Dana Scott. Welcome. Hi, thank you. Scotty. Harvey. Oh, you two know each other. We went to Harvard Law together. Harvey was fifth in the class and I was, oh, I forget, what was it? Married to the library? That's right, number one. Number one at studying. Okay, this way. Tell me, Scotty, what's my success rate against you in the real world where we practice real law? Oh, Harvey, there should be no winners or losers in a merger, just a happy new couple. That's right, 3 0. Well, I say we let these two talk deal points while I try your chef's famous sea bed. Absolutely. 
Play nice. Oops. We like each other, even if you two don't. <laughs> Married to the library? It's not my fault. The library was the best you could do. Do you have the preliminary proposal? No, I just flew in from London completely unprepared. Try not to be intimidated. I use some big words. Overcompensation isn't that big of a word. It isn't? I can hardly wait to see the work of a senior partner. I see my promotion popped up on your Harvey Specter Google alert. That's not all that's going to pop up. Mm -hmm. <sighs> <sighs> Can't remember the last time we had a bed. Pretty convenient that we're working on a hotel merger. <laughs> Remember the mining deal? Chef 27? How could I forget? Listen, about the due diligence. Ah, uh, uh, Harvey. You know the rules. No case negotiations till we're done. I think that might be a while. Walk away me. Rachel, hey. Hi. What are you doing here? I am here because I wanted to talk to you before you came in to see Harvey this morning. Do you want some coffee? No, I won't be here long enough for that. Are you sure? Look, Logan. I know why you're here. If you knew why I was here, then I wouldn't need to be here. I think you're here to tell me that what's happening isn't really happening, but. It is. <laughs> I have a boyfriend that I love. So I need you to stop pursuing me. No more flowers, no more looks, no more attempted kisses, no more anything, OK? Look, you said that if I knew why you were here, you wouldn't need to be here. I think you do need to be here. And we both know why. You're wrong. I don't think I am. You once told me that we had chemistry the second that we met. Oh, look at please. Tell me to stop, and I'll stop. Rachel. With the party of the third part hereto referred to as Norton LLC, rendered to not the subject of any litigation or any claim that might be reasonably anticipated to give rise, being acknowledged that such appointment is irrevocable and shall be deemed a power coupled with lawfully interest invested in the event of with the power to make such contracts or to perform acts from which it may be lawfully implied. That's it. Did we get it? Saving and wait for it. Done. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Your mind, it's just, it's amazing. Thanks. What? Your mind's amazing too. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Who are you calling this late? Oh, she's waiting up for you? Yeah. I guess you're right, it's pretty late. She's probably sleeping by now. Okay. Uh, I'll just text her. It's tough to have a relationship with the first year, or any year. You just don't have a life. How'd you make it work? Who said I did? It's, it's impossible to have anything long-term unless you find someone that has the same 80-hour work week, and then that doesn't work either because they're busy too. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna let that be the reason that Jenny and I don't. What did you still do in here? Uh, it's Nothing. for Harvey, uh, but we're done. Good night. Yeah, I'll see you later. Good night. Bye. Bye. <clears throat>